Well, hello there, I'm Detroit. I'm picking up my dip pen once more to make an illustration. At this point, I don't really know what it will turn out as. It's something we're gonna discover together. I'm not rolling the intro today because it seems from the analytics that I rarely take a look at that a lot of people leave my videos right about during the intro, which is frustrating because there's nothing to see if you don't continue the video. But you are not the problem since you're still here. And thank you for that, sincerely. If it's not too much, I want to ask you to like the video, maybe? It doesn't matter that much. I hear views really are the only important thing for this YouTube experience. Anyway, to the drawing. This is a fun one. I had no plan until the first line to the left of the sketchbook. Then somehow I thought of a tree, and so I drew a half tree to make up the whole left of the page. The idea is to make this double page ink doodle with a semi-abstract tone. For example, I'm not trying to represent something real, and the real goal is to manage just enough. Like, look at the leaves on the tree, they look like nothing, and yet this works. I would like now to briefly interrupt this program to bring to light all the people who allow me to make these videos. The whole team that works in the shadow to support and accompany me in every video. Let's start with my agent, Detroit, who helps me manage everything. I also want to thank my artistic director, Detroit. Then we have the production team, Detroit the sound engineer, Detroit on the lights, Detroit and Detroit who operate the cameras. The editing bay with Detroit, Detroit and Detroit who edit basically every video on this channel. Detroit for the thumbnails and who also takes care of social media. And finally, the writer who helps me make all these beautiful scripts week after week, Detroit. I really wanted to shed some light on everyone here at Detroit Corp and it wouldn't be possible without them. So smash that like button and give them some strength in the comments. If you want, you can also help us by donating a couple bucks on coffee.com slash Detroit so we can hire our intern, Detroit, as a full-time community manager. And now, back to the regularly scheduled program, which is this drawing. Actually, not really. I have more random things to say. At first, I wanted to do all this team presentation skit at the full interlude, but when I recorded the audio, I realized it was way too long, and so I decided to keep the drawing process rolling at the same time. I'm sure some of you are already gone, but that's okay. If you come here expecting only drawing talks, then sorry to disappoint. I wanna have fun in my videos. I don't want to be constrained in any way. And I never have been. All this time, I stuck to what is essentially one format, and I like that format. However, recently, I feel a bit constrained by the schedule I impose on myself. I don't think I want to continue making one video per week, no more no less. I think starting now, I kinda want to post whenever I feel like. This comes from a couple reasons. First off, why be regular? I've been doing YouTube videos for 5 years, and the number of subscribers, or the average view count, clearly shows I'm not good at this whole grinding thing. I don't expect I'll ever reach a big amount of following, or be able to make a living out of video making. And being regular is basically just for the algorithm. I don't think individuals like you necessarily want a regular schedule, especially for drawing content like this. If I'm wrong, then please correct me in the comments. But what I'm saying is, I don't need to be posting videos regularly. Secondly, a video per week is very restraining. I have a limited amount of creative juice I can produce any given week. Usually, after making a drawing, I go on to make the script and the video edit. By this point, I don't feel creative anymore. But then I have to start making a new drawing right after to keep up the pace. This means that if I ever want to make a drawing that would take me twice as long, then I will have to force myself to draw something else faster for another video, or make a shorter drawing. This is a constraint I don't really like. In fact, it also goes the other way. Because I put out a new video every week that's between 7 and 12 minutes long, I feel obligated to do so all the time. If I have a drawing that's on the short side, I have trouble extending it to fill a long enough video, and that sucks too. Why don't I let myself make videos that are 3 or 4 minutes long then? I don't have the answer, but I have a solution, allowing me to make videos of any length. And for that, I need more liberty of schedule. I have a lot of ideas for drawings that would be much shorter. Things I can draw in under an hour compared to my usual 2-3 hours per drawing. And I also have ideas of big projects, drawing of 10, 20 or even 30 hours. 
These long projects are unrealistic with my present schedule. I would need to only draw small bits at a time to accommodate around my regularly planned videos and drag on the drawing process over a month. So yeah, I have had this realization during holidays away from my usual drawing setup. I kept thinking about how this video would be a bit late or I wouldn't have anything to post afterwards. I realized I don't need to be like that. I don't care about it all to be honest. I'm making videos because I enjoy doing so and if it ever becomes a hassle then I would probably stop. It's a case of having an obstacle in the way and instead of trying to work with it or climb it or whatever, I simply decide to bypass the path entirely and go around. It's so simple and yet I never thought about it like that. Even when I went from two videos per week to only one, which frankly I don't know how I could ever make two videos a week. I still felt like I had to follow a schedule. All I'm saying doesn't mean I will only post not regularly. I will simply post when I have a video ready. I still very much dislike leaving a video in progress and I like going to editing right when I'm done drawing. It's just that the drawings might be short or long or anything in between. If they are on the short side and I can manage more than one drawing video per week, I will still space them out evenly in terms of upload to cut on the off time before a longer drawing. So to summarize, this changes nothing to you. You will still see me semi-regularly draw random prompts that you might not be able to see anywhere else on the internet. And with that, I should probably end the video soon. I never had much to say about the drawing itself to begin with. The tree was half the interest of it, and the second one being the rolling clouds taking half the double page. Maybe I can mention the few lines I added at the end, which are still unexplained to this day. I felt like adding an element there, at the middle top right, just to break the overall composition and add some mystery. I'm Detroit, I've always been, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly hope you'll also enjoy the many more I'll upload in the future, so subscribe in order to not miss it. Find my whole ink portfolio on cara.app slash detroit and the rest of my drawings on Instagram and Twitter. I already mentioned coffee if you want to help me directly by donating real world money, so that's about it. Love you guys. Go outside and touch some grass and I'll see you soon. Bye!